Hi. I would like to introduce you to our study describing a method for specific quantification of disease-associated proteins in maple syrup urine disease. For this type of disease, it's important to quantitate multiple proteins in the same sample. And our mass spectrometry-based method developed in our proteomics lab is suitable for this. Maple syrup urine disease, MSUD, is a disease caused by a defect in the catabolism of branched chain amino acid. This is more specifically in the branched chain alpha ketoacid dehydrogenase complex, which is located in the mitochondria and is a multi enzyme protein complex. This study has been done in collaboration with Dr. Pilar Rodriguez Pombo and Professor Magdalena Ugarte from the Centro de Diagnostico de Enfermedades Moleculares at Universidad Autónoma de Madrid. We have selected four patients with classic phenotype. The classic phenotype is the most common phenotype of MSUD and is also the most severe one. This patient has shown no enzyme activity, but also normal mRNA levels. So now the question that remains is, what are the protein levels of this multi-enzyme complex in these patients? The experimental setup of this work is based on the enrichment of mitochondria from culture skin fibroblasts from patients and healthy individuals. One of our results showed that one of our patients with a missense mutation, there is no protein for that gene affected. That means that the mutation could be a misfolding mutation. And surprisingly, there's not only that protein missing, another subunit of the complex is also missing, meaning that there's an interaction of all the subunits together. That means it's important to measure all the subunits at the same time. Proteins were quantified using our triple quadrupole mass spectrometer. We used selected reaction monitoring, SRM, for the quantification of disease-associated proteins. Heavy labeled synthetic peptides were spiked in equimolar amounts into each of the samples prior to MS analysis. We designed the SRM method to monitor a total of five transitions for each of the monitored peptides. Using the approach of a scheduled SRM allows us to monitor several proteins in a multiplex manner. The monitored transitions were finally summed and ratios between the endogenous and heavy labeled peptide analogs were calculated. The calculated ratios were finally used for relative protein quantification. As a conclusion of this study, we propose the use of SRM in combination with genetic studies to further characterize gene variations in inherited diseases, especially those inherited diseases where there is a multi-protein complex affected. If you want to know more about our exciting work, you can read it in the journal Molecular Genetics and Genomic Medicine. If you have any questions or you want to send out your feedback, you can email us. We wish you a happy reading. Thank you.